Hello again. Uh, what we're doing is we're working with logarithms and we're going to specifically turn uh, things from logarithmic form to exponential form and vice versa, from exponential form to logarithmic form. And uh, let me preface, logarithmic form is when it has a log, uh, exponential form is when it has exponents instead of logs. And that's basically what you would see on a test, uh, quiz, homework, uh, book, etc. So I want to turn this into exponential form, something that I can solve for. Uh, and it's good to be able to understand it vice versa because it just makes sense. Uh, now if you want to do that, here's a little friendly reminder to try to help you out. It reads log base 8 of 1 equals 0. Uh, the base is always the number that's uh, before the exponent, that's the way I always like to tell my students. So basically what it is, is it's 8, which is the base, to the 0 power equals 1. And in fact, that is true, because anything to the 0 is 1, as long as there's not a negative that uh, doesn't have a parentheses in front of it. You know, like if it's negative 8 to the 0, that would be negative 1, but we're not working with that. And besides, your base can't be negative anyways. So 8 to the 0 is 1. That's how you write it in uh, uh, exponential form. On this one, I'd like uh, to tell my students to be careful. I'd like to tell them to put parentheses when you've got a fraction like that. It just seems to make it easier. I don't know why, it just does. And in this case, uh, the base is 2, it reads log base 2 of 1 over 16 equals negative 4. So that's 2 to the power of negative 4 equals 1 over 16. That, in fact, is true. Uh, this is the same thing as 1 over 2 to the 4th, because the exponent's been bad. Go downstairs. 2 to the 4th is 16, so it's 1 over 16. 1 over 16 is 16. But basically what you did was you took it from logarithmic form and you put it to exponential. On the uh, reverse side of the coin, what I want to do now is try to figure out uh, how to put it from exponential form to logarithmic form. And the way that I like to remember it is, this is the base, so that's log of base 10. At least you got that part down. Okay? Um, the exponent is always what it's equal to, and then it's just log base 10 of 1,000. So 10 to the third equals 1,000. If you don't believe me, go ahead and do exponential form. 10 to the third does equal 1,000. Uh, I should say this again. If you see a problem, uh, let's say like this, log of 1,000 equals 3, some students are going to say, well, where's the base? If it doesn't specifically state the base, it's assumed that the base is 10. Uh, if the base is not 10, it'll otherwise state it. So sometimes you'll see it look like this, and sometimes you'll see it with no number in front of it because they want you to assume that the base is 10. Uh, it seems a little unfair, but it is what it is. Moving on. 9 to the power of 1 half equals 3. 9 is the base. So it's log base 9. It's equal to 1 half, the exponent, of 3. And that does make sense. 9 to the 1 half, or the 9 uh, square root, is equal to 3. Hmm, that's... Pretty much it. Either of those answers would work. Although I would do that one. Your teacher might think you forgot something. Exponentials here, that's there. We're going to work with a couple other things. I think uh, inverse property. I'm not really sure. I'll see what comes to mind. But basically, what we did here was exponential to logarithmic, and logarith oh, actually, logarithmic to exponential, and uh, exponential to logarithmic. Oh, with that said, have a good day, friend. Goodbye.